Hello there, and thanks for joining us. In this video, we will walk you through the steps of setting up and connecting the Clips Pro Media speakers and subwoofer to a desktop computer, as well as recommend the Clips Pro Media speaker and subwoofer placement. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to go through speaker placement and speaker connection just to show you where all the connections are at and show you what we had to do to get set up and get to this point. Starting with the speaker bases. As you see, the bases have already been installed with this Phillips screw here, and this is on both speakers. What we are going to do is we're going to add some pads to the bottom of the bases. We've got these little guys right here. Take one out, peel the back off. one here and I'm going to put four on each speaker. So now if you want to put these on a wooden desk it won't scratch the surfaces. So now all the prep work is done ready to start doing some electrical hookups. Let's review what we're going to hook up and where the cords are. So, left speaker is very simple. It just has a speaker wire. You'll notice that the speaker wire has a red stripe on one wire and no stripes on the other wire. Red is positive, black is negative. The speaker will be hooked to the subwoofer. The subwoofer, as you see, has red, black, red, black. So, this one says L for left, so the red will go here, the black will go here. I'm not going to make the connections right now because I'm going to do that over at the desk. I just want to show you where everything is at. The right speaker, on the other hand, is a little bit more complicated. To start with, it has the same sort of wire to connect to the subwoofer. So it goes here to the red and the black, red and the black here. It has another wire. This kind of looks like an old S video connection. This wire goes here to the subwoofer. This wire goes to the speaker outlet on your speaker audio card. The side of the speaker, just so you see them, there is a headset connection if you want to use it. And also if you use MP3 players, there's a connection here for an MP3. All right, so I'm gonna start setting things in place here. First, I'm gonna run the speaker wire for the left speaker down behind the desk. Very nice. Right, now we'll get the right speaker ready and run its wires. The first wire I ran was the speaker wire going to the subwoofer. And here's the control wire also going to the subwoofer, which we are going to place underneath the desk. All right. 
The remaining wire is the wire that goes to the desktop computer. We'll go ahead and hook that up now. And the green connection to the green connection. Make sure it's plugged all the way in. All right, so you see we've already laid some wire runs out. We'll go ahead and dress this up a little bit later. For now, I'll just go ahead and place the speaker where we're going to need it. Get the PC turned around. So we're set up the way we're going to look. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the subwoofer and put it underneath the desk and hook it up. Remember, when hooking these things up, the last thing you hook up is power. Alright, so, I gotta do this so you can see. Reaching under the desk. Earlier I dropped the speaker wire for the left speaker. There it is. Red stripe. There you go. Just push down the lever, put the wire in. There's the negative. One speaker down. Same thing for the right speaker. Red stripe. Red connection. No stripe. Black connection. Last but not least, the control wire. Now we can plug it in. Well now for the fun part. Let's see if it works. Hooray, we have a green light. All right, let's take a quick look at the right speaker here. See the green lights on, it's powered up. We have a subwoofer volume. We have the main volume for the whole system. And just in case you wanted to see what they look like, that's what the speaker looks like inside. Let's see if we can hear some music now. Hooray, we have sound. I do hope this video was very informative. Please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.